Tonight's the night then, Stephen. One can but hope, Oswald old son. With any luck we won't be needed. It's five on to one, after all. And, if all else fails, we'll be hiding in the broom cupboard on the landing. <laughs> I did like your English car. A silver ghost, you call it? Yes. Uh, sit down, my friend. Now, what can I get you to drink, Rasputin? The samovar seems to be cold. Where is your wife, Felix? You promised that I would meet Irina. So I did, and you will. But there is a slight problem. A problem? Yes, we had some friends to dinner and they have outstayed their welcome. They are still drinking and dancing upstairs. I can't hear anything. Yes, if you listen carefully, perhaps they have gone. I will go and check. Ah, the smell of sin. No, they are still here. Irina says she will be down in a minute. Now, what about that drink? Uh, Madeira? No, I never drink. I see. But perhaps we can tempt you with one of the delicious homemade cakes that Irina has made in your honour. I am not hungry, Felix. I sense that your spirit is not at peace this evening. What is wrong? Oh, nothing. I'm just a little concerned that you will accept none of our hospitality. Irina will be very upset. She will? Why are you so nervous, Felix? Would you like me to cast your demons out? Um, how would you do that, exactly? I will embrace you like a polar bear. And you and must, must look, look closely, closely into my, my eyes. eyes. I don't think that will be absolutely necessary. Where is Irina? I will shout to her again. Irina! Yes, my love? We're waiting for you, dear. <laughs> <laughs>